Um, hey guys, so uh, Dragon Tools are here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to export a GIF in uh, Fire Alpaca. Yeah, just saying. I used to have this game on a phone, and it was much better. I had a lot more stuff then. It was very cool, but the computer version isn't really as good to be honest. So yeah. Oh yay. What did I just do? Okay. So yeah, let's get started. I should probably show you how to also make a GIF first, since I forgot I don't have the one that I made on this computer. So yeah, sorry guys. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So you're gonna go to new. I find I found it's best to go for a transparent and do this. I'm gonna go with this and I usually use 14 because it's just a good size for this. Yep. And let me go ahead and make a quick sketch for what we're gonna do. Um. So the, I'm I'm probably just gonna do the same thing as the last thing I did. I did a uh, kind of a pony, and it was pretty cool. But I'm gonna pause this and make a quick pony hit to show you guys what we're gonna do. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, so I made a quick sketch for this, and now I'm gonna show you. How to make a GIF and uh, and kind of just export it and stuff. So you're gonna go to Edit and click Copy. This is probably the same thing you're gonna use for most of the GIF, unless you're changing anything and then paste it. You're gonna be pasting it a whole lot. So I'm just gonna make it not its head. So select the general area that's gonna be moving. go to select, go to transform. I didn't know this for a really long time. Um, so I think we're gonna go up first. Oh, whoops. One thing, never forget to turn this on. Onion skin mode. It's in view and it's right here. Otherwise it's ridiculous. So move it up just a little bit, tilt it, and then align it with the rest of it, which is really hard to be honest. Ah! There, okay. And then, in order for it to stay the way it is, you either hit OK or hit Enter. I usually just hit Enter. It's much easier. And then, uh, click outside of it. I'm gonna go to pen and use the same size that I've been using, 14. And, oh, it's in purple, oops, okay. And then connect it. Uh, this isn't going to be a very good GIF because it's just random and it's also really rough. So, ah, it's a little big, I didn't see that, okay. Yeah, okay, so this isn't going to be really good, but hopefully it will be sufficient. So, now that it's up a little bit, you're going to paste again. You're pasting the original layer. See the ra that right there is showing this layer, and this one's showing this layer. This one is going to be showing this layer, so you just keep doing that. So we're gonna do this one more time, and then I'm gonna pause it and do it a couple times to show y'all. Use this tool to select the area you want to be moving. Go to select, go to transform, tilt it even more than the last time, increasing it every time to make it nod. Walking is really hard to animate, by the way, otherwise it would have been uh, walking, but walking is a pain in the butt to animate. So yeah. This is how you would make an animation and you would uh, export it as a GIF. So, 
Yeah. I'm gonna do this just yeah one more time for good measure and then I will pause it and make it the rest of the way for y'all and then show you. Don't okay, okay, I'm not saying you can't go crazy with it, but don't make it look like something that's not possible at all. Okay. Otherwise it's just gonna be weird and it's not going to come out very well. So yeah. I'm just gonna pause it now and make a few more slides for it. Okay, so I went ahead and made a bunch more layers. Um, we have eight layers now. It goes from this to this. So uh, to preview basically what you're gonna be uh, exporting, you go to view and once onion skin is on you'll see autoplay. If you turn it off you're just gonna see this. Um, yeah. So turn that on and then go to autoplay and you can change your frames. When it's on 30 frames it looks pretty pretty cool. Um, 24 is a little slower. 12. Personally 24 and 12 are my favorite. But 30 is really fun when you're trying to do something that looks ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, there's your animation. I did this by going layer by layer. It went up and then down. So it's basically just, yeah. Um, so now I'll show you how to export it, okay? Give me just a second. Okay, so you're going to uh, go to File and go to Export Layers Onion Skin Mode so you don't lose anything. You're going to save it. Okay, let me save it real quick. Once you save it, something will come up. It's got to load. And then you're going to hit yes. So this is what's going to come up. You're going to scroll down here until you find this. Okay? And see how it says uh, GIF and JPEG and PNG and stuff. So you're going to click on that. You're going to select all of them in order for all the pictures and click open. And wait a second. Okay, so once it pops back up again, you're going to scroll down here. This should be here. Okay, so if you want the logo, the Fire Alpaca logo, to be on there, you leave this checked. But if you do not, uncheck it. This is where you change your frames per second. This is at 30. I think I'm probably going to do 12 or 24. Let's see 12 real quick. Yeah, I think I like 12. And then just leave this checked. I don't know what it means, but leave it. See, it says uh, GIF. You're going to click on it. And then click it again. And download. If it'll work. <laughs> it's loading. There we go. And then... And then this is what you're going to see when you open it. Drawing animation isn't the smoothest animation you can do, but it is really interesting. And even though it's time consuming, like really, really time consuming, it can be very rewarding. This is a bit of an odd animation. You probably saw the test animation on my channel that I posted a few days ago. Um, but that, honestly, this is the first one I've done with color and actually, you know, um, anything on it so yeah um yeah thanks for watching y'all uh during two out